If you want to get a taste of what Satan has to offer, then one of the first things you should try out is the EDM trade. This is arguably the most interesting, but also the most complicated trade in the entire set. It only makes sense that this trade deserves its own video. EDM has a total of 4 units with Jax, Lux, Z and Zek. The trade activates if you field at least 2 of these units. Technically you only need 1 if you happen to find an EDM headliner that gives plus 1 to the trade, but that's kinda pointless. Once the trade is activated, you will receive receive an item on your item bench, the EDM Sampler. This item works somewhat similar to the Dragomancer Blessing in set 7. You can use the item on any of your EDM units to receive a special effect during combat. Once combat starts, depending on which unit was sampled, your EDM units on your board will periodically transform into the sampled unit. When they transform, they receive full mana and therefore cast their ability right away. Afterwards, they transform back, return to their original position and also continue with the same amount of mana they had before they transformed. Now it's quite tempting to simply fill up your board with only EDM units, but unfortunately this strategy won't work. The way the trade works is that only the strongest of each EDM unit will transform. For example, if you sample Zack and you have two looks, then the one that has items is considered the strongest and will transform into Zack. The other looks won't be affected. If the unit that is sampled also happens to be the strongest, then with the right timing it is possible to make that unit ult twice in a row. So to summarize, no matter how many EDM units you field, only a maximum of 1 Jax, Lux, Z and Zack can transform during a fight. EDM is certainly one of the most unique traits that we ever had in TFT, but this also comes with some limitations. There is no EDM emblem that you can receive from a Tome of Traits. You are limited to the 4 EDM units in the game. On the other hand, you can make the argument that there are 4 possible EDM comps that you can play around. Visually, this comp is definitely not messing around. Watching your EDM units transform into jacks, leap to the highest health target and jump back is definitely an amusing sight. Lux will likely be the best carry for EDM since she is an AP carry and a true powerhouse. Watching a free light show every single fight is also quite satisfying to watch, especially when your opponent doesn't understand what's going on. Sampling your Zank is also a great alternative if you want to add some utility to your board. Compared to the other two examples that I just mentioned, Zank isn't really about dealing damage. He jumps around, stuns enemies and heals himself. Having up to 4 Zanks, you can potentially buy yourself enough time to turn the fight in your favor. Only Z so far has been giving me a bit of trouble, but this doesn't mean that he is useless. It just means that he hasn't been fully figured out yet. If you have any ideas how to make Z work, then I would love to read about it in the comments. I'm definitely a big fan of EDM and you can expect to see a lot more videos about this trait in the future. I hope you learned something and see you next time. <laughs> yeah, so now he doesn't move, so it, it kind of accomplishes almost the same. Ah, he still died, really. No bug abuse for you. <laughs>